Uh, our or Osceola County Bureau reporter Megan Lalata is live in Kissimmee this morning. Uh, Megan, where exactly are you in Kissimmee and what are you seeing? Hey guys, yeah, it's a little tough to hear you just because of the wind, but right now we're on Orange Blossom Trail right near Bonita Street. And I want to take, I want to show you guys what's going on behind me. There's a lot of action out here this morning. First, let's go down to this Osceola County Sheriff's vehicle. It's a little bit hard to tell with the wind blowing all that water, but do you see that water coming out of the car? That's because this truck just got towed from this flooding. This is some significant flooding over here on Orange Blossom Trail. There's another sheriff's vehicle right there the, uh, to my right. That one also just got towed from outside of this flooding. Now I have been talking with the Osceola County Sheriff Marco Lopez this morning. Their deputies are out here because they're trying to protect people and keep them safe, but they're getting stuck themselves. There's a couple of other cars and I'm not sure if you can see that really bright light coming toward us. That's an air an airboat. I'm not sure if that belongs to the Osceola County Sheriff or uh, with another agency, but they're out here doing water rescues. And then if you look just to the right of that really bright light, they just turned it off there. There's a tow truck. It's also submerged, but you know, that tow truck driver is risking himself by just to help other people. There's a better look at the airboat. It does look like it's with the Sheriff's Office. Some deputies are getting off of it right now. They were doing some rescues and I want to make a I want to make sure you guys know that this water is actually going down. It was a lot higher earlier this morning. We were able to get further down Orange Blossom Trail at this hour than we were earlier. Now, the the water, though, is obviously still high. And on Orange Blossom Trail, there's also a lot of car lots. So it's hard to tell uh, if some of these cars drove into this flood water or if they're floating into the flood water. I think my cameraman here is zooming in to show you that there's two, maybe three other cars um, further back that are submerged in this water off of Orange Blossom Trail. Now, I can't see where the flooding ends. It's past uh, where I can see. So it looks like there's some law enforcement agencies on the other side of all of this near the light back there. I'm not sure how much you guys can see of this as well, but um, again, that airboat is out here making rescues. There's tow trucks out here towing several cars. It's just one after the other people keep driving into this water and some cars could be floating off of the lots on this roadway as well. Now, if you take a look behind me, if I have my cameraman turn around here, this is Bonita Street right here. Um, I'll have you guys walk down. The street sign is down, so it's not just water. It's also a wind issue over here in Kissimmee. Um, there's a look at that sign. Man, the wind is just picking up. It comes and goes, um, but it's getting pretty tough right now. And if we uh, walk down a little bit further, I want to show you, it's not just Orange Blossom Trail. If you take a look down Bonita, there's law enforcement agencies standing by on this roadway as well because the flooding gets really bad down the road. So we're going to keep an eye out on the conditions here in Osceola County. I can tell you some of the other roadways that are not passable include John Young Parkway and Michigan Avenue. We're also seeing that some of the flooding is also happening in Lake Buenaventura area. Um, we're seeing a fire station flooded. We're seeing a lot of businesses flooded. So we're going to try to touch base with those impacted by the water and the wind. And of course, we'll bring you more details as soon as we get them. But for now, I'll toss it back to you in the studio.